Hey guys, Ding from Ding's Workshop here. A few weeks ago, banggood.com sent me this miter gauge and they've asked me to do a product review on this tool. So today I'd like to share with you guys how I feel about this tool and whether or not it is something worth buying. Now before I get into the details of this tool, one thing I wanted to point out is it is a miter gauge plus a box joint jig over here. In terms of pricing, if you buy the miter gauge and the box joint jig together, the package currently retails for $89.99 on banggood.com. One thing I want to point out is, depending on where you are located, there could be a shipping charge. For folks who aren't familiar with banggood.com, I've taken an unbox video right after I received this product. Let's first talk about shipping time. The package was shipped out on August 13th, and today is September 8th. So it took four weeks for the package to go from southern China to where I am, which is Seattle. So in terms of packaging, it's pretty well packed. Uh, here's the company name Banggood and their website banggood.com. I'm not seeing any major damage to the package, so I think it's pretty good. One thing I can tell you guys right off the back is that this tool is super well built. But first, let's talk about its performance because a tool's main purpose is to perform, not to look good. One thing I noticed is that this guy is a little bit too long, therefore causing a tiny bit of play when it's engaged. So now I will lock this piece right here, and as you can see, just a tiny bit. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just file off a tiny bit of the tip right here. Okay, so I just went and filed off just a teeny bit of the tip off. And now, let me lock it in place. There's no play at all. Perfect. So in order to use this as some sort of a fence for the miter gauge, you need to first remove these two pieces. Uh, these two pieces are there for the box joint. And these two guys just slide out from the bottom. To make sure the miter gauge fits right into the T-slot with no play, there are these plastic rings. You just tighten it to expand and loosen it to shrink it. Um, so as you can see right now, I have just a tiny bit of play right here. Just give it a slight tight right there. Still a little bit. They also have the same plastic rings on the back of the miter gauge. Make sure you tighten those up. So now I can slide and there are no play. Okay, so I've just finished calibrating this miter gauge and now I'm going to do some different cuts with different angles just to test how accurate these notches are. Okay, first let's check the 45 angle cuts. Wow, check that out. This is absolutely perfect. Does not get better than that. I also made 22 and a half degree cuts to make an octagon. Turns out the eight pieces are pretty hard to manage, so I ended up stapling them together. Wow, check that out. This is awesome. Now I have to say I am quite impressed with the angle accuracy of these notches. This miter gauge is awesome. So now let's talk about the second feature of this miter gauge, the box joint jig.
Now let's talk about the build quality of this miter gauge. This miter gauge is built with very high quality. You can see here the handle and this knob over here. These are made with solid brass. And when you hold it in hand, it feels solid and super comfortable. The miter detents are 60 degrees on each side from the zero degree detent. And then it's in the increment of five degrees per notch. And with the inclusion of the 22 and a half degrees over here. And at the bottom of the miter gauge, uh, there is a piece of very dense, plasticky type of material. And this material will help you protect the tabletop of your table saw. Now, as you can see, the box drilling jig has two pieces and it's super flush. Now, one thing I wanted to point out are these little feet for the box drawing jig. Um, now, these are aluminum and these feet are pretty narrow. So, I don't know, my worry is that if I accidentally bump into these feet, I might actually deform them. But then again, the likelihood of that happening is probably going to be low. My worry is if that happens, will I be able to find replacement parts for these two? Now Banggood.com does offer a stop block that goes on top of this rail and if you recall in my unbox video I had a stop block uh, but turns out I picked the wrong part uh, this actually doesn't fit on here so if you are considering to get this tool with the stop block make sure you read the description and get the correct part again this is my mistake I should have read the description more carefully so overall, I am really impressed with this miter gauge. The performance is super accurate and the build quality is top notch. Now, if I were to compare this miter gauge with its competitors on the market, I would say this is a really good choice. Not only because this miter gauge cuts just as accurate as its competitors, if not better, this miter gauge also does box joint and finger joint, which is a feature its competitors do not offer. Now, if we consider the price tag for this miter gauge, which is $89.99 plus some shipping versus its competitors on the other hand, I would say this miter gauge is a real bang for the buck. If you guys are interested in buying this miter gauge, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Now, this link is an affiliated link, which means your purchase from this link will help out my channel. But if that's not your thing, it's totally cool. You can go to banggood.com and search for miter gauge. You will find this exact tool. Hey, thanks for watching this tool review. If you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. I would be really honored if you can also subscribe to my channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. This is Ding from Ding's Workshop. See you next time.